All right, so this is intended to be a short video on how to create stairs in Revit. So I'm going to try to go through it pretty quick, so we'll see how it goes. So the first thing is, I'm just creating stairs, so I'm not going to have any walls or anything. So just once you open Revit, just go ahead and click on our SATC architecture template. And you're opening a new project this way. And we're going to use this project just to create stairs. So whenever you create stairs in your project, all you need to do before you create your stairs is you have to have your levels set up. So if you go to one of your elevations, just go to any of them. And for your stairs to work and to build a good set of stairs, you just need to know the distance between your level one and level two. So basically from where the, start, the stairs are going to start to where they're going to end. And so I'm going to change this just by clicking on level two. I'm going to make that distance instead of being 10 feet. I'm just going to make it some random number. So I'm going to make it eight and a half feet. So now that I've got those levels set, now I can go back to my floor plan. So I'm going to go back to level one. My stairs are going to start at level one and go up to level two. So go back to my level one floor plan. I'm going to come on over here. I'm going to find stairs. And there's two options. There's stair by component and stair by sketch. Honestly, I think stair by sketch is easier to use, especially when we're just talking about a straight set of stairs. So I'm going to click on stair by sketch. If I look at the top, so right now what's selected is run. So I'm going to be, when I go to click, I'm going to be specifying the run of the stairs. So then we have shape of the stairs to where it can either be a straight line or it can be an arc and we can switch back and forth between them. And then the only other thing I have is over here in properties. I need to click on edit type so I can adjust the properties for this stair style. So click on edit type. Once this comes up, click on duplicate. So we're making our own. So I'm going to go ahead and put a hyphen SATC. And according to building codes, I can use a max rise of seven and three quarters inches and a minimum tread of 10 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and set this style up to match that. So I get these, so I'm using the smallest amount of floor space as possible. I'll go ahead and hit OK here. For a minimum tread depth, change that to 10 inches. Max riser height, change that to 7 and 3 quarters inches. And then look down through here. So I've got my tread thickness. So I'm going to base this off of a set of stairs we did in a two-story house. So for my tread thickness, what we used in this particular project was for my treads right here, tread material, three-quarter inch tread, and then a three-quarter inch riser. And then the nosing is how far that the tread sticks out past the riser. And I'm going to set that to be a zero on this particular set of stairs. So my tread thickness, I'll change it to three quarters of an inch. For the nosing length, I'll change that to a zero. Come on down here to my riser thickness, change that to three quarters of an inch as well. And then my left and right stringers, I want my, my stringers underneath my stairs. I don't want them to cap the end of my stairs. So I'm going to go ahead and change those to be open. So my stringers are open on the end. Stringer thickness at two inches. So I'll go ahead and leave that the way it is. Everything else there is going to work. I think that's going to do it. I take that back. I'm going to change one other thing. Here under nosing profile, I'm just going to go ahead and change that to default. So I'll change that to default. I can hit OK here. Now I've got my properties set up. So my stairs is going to start at level one. They're going to go up to level two. Kind of scan down through here. My width of my stairs at a minimum, they have to be three feet. So I'll go ahead and leave that where it's at. I'm going to have 14 risers. That all looks good. So I just click on where I want my stairs to start. So I'm just going to click a point and I just drag to the right or I drag up depending on the direction of my stairs. If I just drag until this little text says 
zero risers remaining since I'm doing a straight stair. So I'll just click at that point. There's my sketch of my stairs. If I like my sketch, which I do, I'll just hit my green check mark. And there it created my stairs. I can go to my 3D view. If I click on that, it takes me to my 3D view. And since our stairs are probably going to have walls on each side, I can go ahead and get rid of these railings. So I can just click on that railing and delete it. Click on the railing on the other side and delete it. And then orbit around. And that is my straight set of stairs. So you can go ahead and give that a try and see how that works out for you. And I hope you have as good luck as I did this morning. So thanks for watching. Good luck.